Do you like to watch your favorite YouTubers struggle? Do you relish in the pain of someone having to complete a task that they very much do not enjoy? Would you like to see that six times? <sighs> Why do I do this? Uh, excuse me. What's going on here? I'm trying to have a very dramatic intro in the rain on this bridge looking out into the ocean. And uh, Can... What is going on? Stitches, can you believe this? Guys, I cannot believe what is going on right now. My villagers have... Hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, my camera's set up right there. Hey, Stitches, no. Well, okay, they, yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Anyways, hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. Basically, I hate decorating interiors on my island. Like, something about it is just not very girl boss, and it does not slay as much as decorating the outside, you know? And on top of that, now that I've had a taste of, like, the absolute freedom and serotonin that the Unloaded catalog in Happy Home Paradise gives you, that's all I ever crave. Like, like how can I go from unlimited catalog and room editing to sad pre-made little rooms that I have to get all the furniture for? So today we're gonna rip off the Hello Kitty band-aid and we're gonna decorate every single room in one video. So strap in, buckle up, put on the swim goggles because today we are taking a deep dive into my most hated task in Animal Crossing. Oh, and did I mention I'm making it even harder for myself by assigning each room only one color that I have to stick to? Yeah, we're doing that too. So to make this humongous daunting task a little bit more bearable, I did put a little more prep work into this video so I wasn't, you know, wanting to suffocate myself with a squishmallow by the third room. I came up with a list of room ideas before I started anything and assigned them all a color, and of course, I had to do rainbow. But we only have six rooms, so one color had to go, and I chose to get rid of orange uh, out of this production. Sorry, honey. You know, you're fired. Clean out your desk because it's time to go. I also made lists on Nookazon with a ton of items that I wanted to use and, you know, stuff I had to get because I don't have a lot of stuff to decorate interiors, actually. I also spread this out over a couple of days. I've actually been doing like one a day, so it took me about a week for this video. So I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment. Like, tell me what your favorite room is, you know, what once you finish watching the video or you could tell me before you finish it. Either way, that would be nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, because um, yeah, this has taken a lot of time from me. But anyways, we're gonna hop into the first room. So I decided to plop this room into the biggest space in the house, you know, this main room, because I had a lot of furniture that I wanted to include. So yeah, after cleaning up this mess that's been here this whole time and stepping on the roach, I just got to work. I did want to use that starry wallpaper that you saw a second ago, um, but it looked too purple for me and I ended up using that in a different room. So I went with like this dark, like, gray black wall and like a little accent wall of the mario stuff because this is gonna be an arcade in case you didn't remember from the list this is like a little arcade so of course i'm gonna utilize all of those like arcade items and i also put like a little gaming desktop because i feel like there's gonna be some sort of like you know computer for people to play like call of duty or whatever and the color scheme for this is of course red but for all of the rooms i decided to allow myself to use black and white and you know if there's anything silver like a light switch like sure i can use silver i'm not gonna be as restrictive as i was on that color palette challenge because if that video taught me anything it taught me that i absolutely hate being restricted in Animal Crossing builds. So I'm allowing myself to use black and white. So for this room specifically, I decided to do black and red because I felt like I was like really gamer, you know? It's like super gamer. I've actually been to a couple of arcades in my lifetime and there's definitely some that I've been to. Actually, all of them that I've been to always have like a little bar area like where you can order food and drinks and stuff like that. So I definitely wanted to have that little section there, you know, and have like pizza and like soda and whatever other gamer foods, you know, that there are, I don't know, hot Cheetos. My dad actually was the one who first started taking me to arcades. He would take me to arcades and comic shops and stuff like that. And that was always like our little, like our little outing that we would do together. And we would go to like the comic store and, you know, like look at everything and you know, I would get like the Japanese sodas and, and like little My Little Pony like blind bags and stuff like that. So there's a lot of fond memories there for me with arcades and they're definitely a fun time. I always had dreamed, like when I was in that stage of like going to arcades and stuff with my dad a lot, I had always dreamed about like, oh, one day I'm gonna like open up my own arcade and it's gonna be like super cool and it's gonna have like so much lounge space. It's gonna be like the hot place for all the teenagers to hang out at, you know, like that's where they go after school 
like it's the 80s again man i was also obsessed with the 80s because um i had to do a project on the 80s in middle school and then that forever cemented my love and admiration for the 80s and also you know it's like when my <laughs> parents grew up so they always um you know we're always talking about the 80s and stuff like that so that was always my dream you know like that far off distant dream like oh if i had a million dollars type of dream for me it was the arcade and then once i got into crocheting a lot when i was 15 i add, i started to add on to it you know i was like okay we'll have the arcade and we'll have like party rooms so you can rent okay and then we'll have like extra rooms where like people can just sit and crochet and you can just like come and chill and hang out and then like i can sell my crochet plushies at the counter and we're gonna have like Funko Pops and my crochet plushies, you know? <laughs> like, I just started, like, making it just, like, this giant ball of stuff that I just liked. Like, whatever my interests are, they started to bleed into this, like, dream idea that I had of, like, opening this arcade. So it was like, okay, crochet. And then if I got into something else, I was like, okay, we're gonna incorporate this now. <laughs> and it's like, oh my goodness, good thing, like, 14, 15 year old me didn't have a million dollars to do this because... I just would have been changing things all the time just to suit whatever ho new hobby or interest I had at the time. Now, if I was to open it, I'd be like, okay, we're gonna have like a little boba counter and we're gonna have boba and we're also gonna have crane games filled with squishmallows. <laughs> like that's what I would do now if I had it now. And I'm sure my boyfriend has his opinions too because I've talked about it with him and we also like talk about it like, oh yeah, we're gonna open an arcade. <laughs> so I'm sure he would be like, oh yeah, we're gonna have like figures or i don't know whatever else he's into <laughs> so here's something that was not necessarily red but i decided i needed to have was this uh, led display i decided to customize it to like the little drinks because i feel like that was so good for the bar area it's not necessarily red but i hope you can let me get get away with it because i start to care less and less throughout this video so <laughs> you'll see a lot of items that aren't necessarily the color of what i'm supposed to be doing but i put it in anyways but yeah i thought it was really fitting you know there was other runs that were red like hearts or like the x's but i was like okay the little drink sign that's so perfect and then there was like a little bit of tweaking that i had to do you know i wanted to make sure that i fit in all of the stuff that i was envisioning like a little more open sign and you know just like kind of rearranging things and tweaking things so that's kind of what's going on here basically but i absolutely love the little gyroids like i think i put gyroids in almost i think it was every single room actually i put gyroids yeah i put them in every single room and i take back i take back what i said um a couple of months ago when the new update came out i said that i didn't care about gyroids and i didn't see the hype and i was like whatever about them but you know what i have to i have to officially take it back because i use them as decoration in every single freaking room so obviously i'm getting some use out of them obviously they're very cute obviously they're adding something to my decor so yeah i officially take that back i don't know they're just so perfect like they can go on the wall they can go on stools they can just go you know on the floor they like have movement they have sound it makes it like really dynamic the like the wherever you put them it just it just adds some movement and i feel like that's always really fun especially in an interior build because you don't have like that wind shaking the trees or the flowers and you don't have like bugs flying around so but here is the finished room i love it very much it reminds me of going to arcades with my dad <laughs> so it has a it has a lot of meaning to me as well and of course i tried my best to pick a kid core it's up to you if you want to call this kid court or not. I don't know. I honestly, at this point, I don't care anymore. These are some of my favorite areas. I love the little like food area. I love the little gyroids playing the arcade games. They are just absolutely adorable. And uh, I love the game gamer lounge area. And then I completely forgot to polish anything, which also is just so nice and adds so much detail and movement. So I think I did like three rooms and then I was like, oh yeah, polishing exists. I think I did like three rooms and then I was like, oh my god, yeah, polishing, that exists. So I went back and did it and yeah, it was much later, so that's why the lighting's different. But I will go ahead and skip the majority of this and if you want to see all of the little details, you can of course visit my dream address. But we are going to head on over to the next room and of course next in the color of the rainbow is yellow. So this is going to be our yellow room over here on the right. And of course Henry decided to rudely interrupt me trying to get an answer out of me. I don't know why he showed up at my house probably to like intimidate me because he knows that I know about the conspiracy. 
but I did not give him the satisfaction. So I started off with this like cinema roll wall, but as you can see here, I, I started going in and changing stuff. I changed the floor and the wall to these two and I feel like that came out a lot better. I feel like this is pretty cute. I decided to do a craft room and yes, I have done a craft room before. I did a craft room in my last house on my last island, but who's to say that I can't do multiple craft rooms, okay? Maybe I'm addicted to make craft rooms in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Who are you to stop me? I have really been loving the color yellow lately. It's just so happy and cheery and I love all of my yellow squishmallows. They are arguably the cutest squishmallows ever there's one that's like a little shark and he's just the most precious boy that i have ever owned and i've also been trying to incorporate like all of the new fancy 2.0 interior stuff like the partition walls and the little pillars and the little counters i'm not that good at it i've seen some people like on instagram just do incredible things and it, they just are like really add to the room with like the pillars and stuff and for me i feel like a kid playing with like freaking legos actually not even legos the freaking what are they called the other ones like the um the three-year-old version of legos mega blocks i feel like i'm a kid playing with mega blocks and just like shoving them around and just like barely piecing them together <laughs> but yeah going with the same sort of like restrictions um i just let myself use things that are white or black or kind of like silver because i still need i still need some of that stuff in here pillars definitely helped i don't think there's yellow pillars are there can you customize them i have no clue honestly i never give nico like the materials so i have no idea what i'm even missing out on hopefully it's not that much but here i am again using uh freaking gyroids because i'm addicted to them now and i officially take back all of my terrible words about them but yeah i just wanted to make this like a little cozy room little cozy craft room when i was really really into crocheting when i was doing it like 24 7 um, a couple of years ago before I started YouTube, I had dreamed, I would always dream about a craft room. I would see like craft room pictures like full of walls of yarn and cool storage and everybody has like custom crochet hooks and I'm like, uh, I want that to be me. And hopefully I will get something in the future that's similar, even though I'm not really as big of a crocheter as I was just because I got no time but I would really love some like really pretty yarn storage for sure right now I have them just in like little wire cubes and they look cute but they always spill out and everything and just yarn is messy <laughs> yarn is messier than you would think like storing it it just like falls everywhere and there's just like strings and everything gets tangled and if you have cats they start eating it and then you're like stop and then Henry comes and barges in again in your house twice in one day and it makes you really suspicious because you're like why are you here twice in one day why are you so obsessed with me i know about your conspiracy um i'm just really scared so you don't go out and you don't talk to him and you just wait for him to leave and then the room is done <laughs> here is the final product it came out really cute this was a quick one um, a lot of these rooms actually got done a lot faster than I thought, which was pretty cool. So yeah, I really like this. I really like just the warm, cozy vibes, the clutteredness, all the plushies, all of the stuff. It's just very nice. Hey, uh, just wanted to remind you guys that my limited edition hats have less than a week left before the campaign ends and then you'll never be able to get them again. So just wanted to remind you if you haven't snagged one already and you want to buy one, I would recommend to do it like like right now like right now and we also have other merch too if you're interested in that okay I, okay I'll, I'll see you later bye but we are gonna move on to the next room which is one of my favorites this i feel like was really unique so this is in the basement obviously and all i had on my list was like a froggy room so i was trying to think like how do i do a froggy room that's like not just full of karobi snacks and like lily pads you know i want to do like a unique froggy room what can i do that's like interesting and then i don't know how it came to me it just came to me pops into my little brain I decided on a froggy spa or like a froggy like sauna or like hot yeah sauna <laughs> so that's what this is I picked this wall I forget what it's called but it's very fitting for like a little sauna and I did the cloud flooring to be like steam coming up because it's you know like a sauna it's nice and warm everywhere so that was very fun I definitely did mean to have like more rugs everywhere but it just it didn't end up happening but we got some bamboo ones in the little uh in the little section back there this was like my main 
area that I wanted to work on. I imagined like the closed off little room, like this, that's what's gonna be the actual sauna, you know, with like the little bamboo rugs and like the little showers. I, I, I was like envisioning that in my mind. So that's what really like was kind of like the base of the room and then everything else, I was just like, okay, I'll just figure it out, you know? And I forgot to order two more bamboo rugs, but those bamboo partitions saved the day and they fit so perfectly. And I just think it came out so good. Like those, those little pieces. They just look so good. So I was very excited about that. And of course I had to throw, you know, Kuropi snacks in as many spots as I could. So some of them are having a nice steamy time in the sauna section. I've actually never been to like a sauna or a spa or anything. I've never been to like a spa. I've never gotten like a massage or anything. Uh, I would love to one day. This, it sounds like fun. It sounds very relaxing. I have been in like a... I guess it is a sauna. What it, What is it when it's like dry heat? When it's like dry heat. I don't know. Is that a sauna? I can't remember. <laughs> is the sauna steamy or dry? I don't know. But I would go skiing a lot with one of my friends and her parents like in middle and high school. And we would go to like these cute little like condos and stuff like that. We would stay at these cute little condos and a lot of them had like pool areas and like not really like a bathhouse but like i don't know a little section inside and there was like you know bathrooms and showers and sometimes some of them had like little hot rooms or saunas i i still don't know what it is but that was the only time that i've ever been in something like that and honestly i did not like it i i think i prefer the wet heat the dry heat is just like I feel like it sucks all the moisture out of my face, you know? Like, I feel like I gotta go do a face mask and, like, put my entire bottle of moisturizer on my face after one of those. I think some gyms have steam rooms, too, that I've seen, so that's very interesting. But I wanna go to, like, a like a fancy steam room, you know? Like, fancy. I wanna get, I wanna get the cucumbers on my eyes. Do you think they let you eat those? Because I really love cucumber, even just with, like, salt on it or, like, some little seasonings. Like, everything but the bagel seasoning on a cucumber slice. Ugh, delicious. Cucumber is like one of my favorite vegetables, even though it's just like mostly water, but I think that's what makes it good, you know? It's like you're basically just like drinking water, you know? You might as well just stick a straw inside of a cucumber and just like slurp. Of course I had to incorporate froggy chairs, you know me. They could not really be centered, really. They, they could not be exactly spaced out very evenly. So that was kind of frustrating, but I just kind of dealt with it. But also sauna related, I would love to have just like a big fluffy robe. I need to get one of those, just like a big fluffy robe to have, you know, like after you shower or whatever. I feel like that makes you feel so luxurious. Like the little robe and you put on the face mask and you put on the cucumbers. I'm gonna go add that to my Amazon wishlist, BRB. For this room though, I feel like I definitely could have benefited from either more or less rugs. Like either more small ones to be like underneath of things and to act as kind of like a floor or less because I feel like the ones that I use like this Kuropi one and the moss one just kind of look weird there. I don't know maybe I should have gotten rid of the moss one. Like it looks okay. Actually yeah that looks better now that I turned it around. But no it looks it looks a lot better not being vertical like that. But this one was really fun. I remember in the early days of Animal Crossing that cloud flooring was like so popular like so popular. It was the cloud flooring and like the cafe wall or like i forget what it was called exactly but you guys know what i'm talking about if you had sahara selling those then you hopped on nookazon and you charged like five nook mile tickets to come and buy it <laughs> i remember the days i definitely did that a couple of times and honestly i really miss those days now everybody just uses treasure islands and everything which is fine definitely no shame in that but it was definitely a very unique and fun time or when we were all you know in that beginning stage of the game just trading on nukazon and just <laughs> trying to get everything i remember i would make lists of like stuff that sold well on nukazon and i would sell like the fireplaces and like the what's it called like the we're open signs and i would just have like a little list uh, like a little notepad list of like everything that does well so i would always order those from my catalog and then <laughs> sell them on nukazon for nook mile tickets it was so fun if only I was making videos back then, you guys would have had so many Nukazon videos. But I also decided to utilize the little trick for the gyroids when you place them on walls. Sometimes it kind of looks like if you put them low enough, it looks like they're sitting inside or on top of whatever furniture you got going on. So we got a couple of gyroids in the little jacuzzi. So I thought that was very fun. 
Unfortunately, I couldn't put any Kropi snacks in there. I wish I could. You know, some sort of glitch, something. I would have liked that, but the gyroids will have to do. I would have also liked to include more Kropi snacks. I only managed to fit two in there, which is like way too little for me, you know, if you know me. But two is better than zero for sure. So just kind of like rearranging things. I don't know why I decided to put little frog cap, but that's a very cute addition. But yeah, just trying to put some stuff on the walls. I really struggled with putting things on the walls just because I didn't have a lot of wall stuff. And I feel like there's not that much wall stuff. Like there's way more regular regular furniture so oh there we go here we go i'm putting some extra kuropi snacks good 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 but yeah i really did struggle with putting wall stuff so a lot of the walls are kind of sparse but it's all right and then for some of the polishing i mostly did like the little steamy stuff just to make everything just super extra steamy so i'm i'm really so in love with polishing i just love all the effects that it adds it's it's very nice you know having my sauna be extra steamy or having the the shower be extra drippy it just adds that little chef's kiss touch and of course i gotta add the butterflies to like all the plants that's literally exactly what i add to like every single plant i'm like okay butterflies boom <laughs> and after that we were all finished so here is a little look see um, I did not stand in the middle of this room, so some of it gets cut off in this turnaround, but you get the gist. <laughs> you get the gist. I very much love how this turned out, and especially the little gyroids in the jacuzzi is just my absolute favorite part. It is so cute. And now we move on to the upstairs, which is the other second biggest room, whatever. Initially, I wanted this to be a bathroom. I wanted the blue room to be a bathroom. I had it written down, but after I did the sauna froggy spa idea, I was like, okay, am I really going to have two things that are kind of like bathroomy kind of related? You know, there's like a lot of water going on on both. Am I really going to have like a bunch of showers and bubbles and like both rooms i don't know it seemed a little bit too similar so i decided to switch it up for the blue theme or the blue room that i was gonna do and i was like okay i don't have a bedroom and i know a bedroom is kind of basic but you know everyone needs one you gotta have one where else are you gonna sleep you're gonna sleep on the floor you're gonna sleep outside you're gonna sleep on the grass the only acceptable alternative is sleeping on top of a froggy chair or like you know if you push two or three together to make like a little bed of froggy chairs that's okay too but yeah i decided to do a like dreamy blue like baby blue bedroom i feel like that was really cute and i especially wanted to incorporate that kiki and lala bed that is just so stunning so that's what i ended up doing and this is kind of like a little quicker type of look see at this build um because this video was getting very long so i chopped this one up pretty heavily so we're we're pretty much done now <laughs> but yeah after some polishing because of course we gotta do some good polishing and just spice everything up this bedroom was feeling pretty static so just went around and added whatever felt right especially the stink lines on the litter box especially those those are like non-essential not i mean yes essential non-negotiable <laughs> non-negotiable for the litter box so after i did all that here's the finished product i think it came out super dreamy super beautiful yes the wallpaper isn't necessarily blue but it has butterflies on it that are blue so give me a pass okay i had to use it this is one of my favorite wallpapers ever i love the little starry dangly thingies on the bed and just this little corner like play corner area is very cute so next up we got the pink kitchen and as i was trying to do this stitches decides to barge in he wants to play but i'm like uh no sorry I am not home today, Stitches. I don't know what's with my villagers and wanting to just like barge in when I'm in the middle of working. Like I'm trying to pay this island's taxes because they don't do anything. They don't contribute anything. And they're just like, hey, you busy? I'm here for a visit. And I'm like, please, I'm trying to work. Like nobody on this freaking island works. Anyways, I wanted to do a kitchen, of course. You know, we got to have that that staple in, in the house. We got the bedroom, we got the kitchen, we got the bathroom. Well froggy sauna i guess it doubles as a bathroom you know where are they peeing i don't know i i'm just not going to be the one to clean it up but i wanted to make this really cute and i wanted to make it like it was somebody's birthday like early in the morning like you wake up and you walk downstairs into the kitchen and it's all set up for a birthday or like a birthday breakfast or a birthday party something going on or maybe it's your birthday party like when you come home and everything's all set up like your mom set it up for you something cute like that i don't know there's just someone's birthday 
I don't know whose birthday, but someone's. So of course I needed to fit in the pink froggy chairs. You absolutely know I had to do it. So those went around the little birthday table and the little paper chains are red. Yes, they're not really pink. I mean, there's like pink and red ones. So I was like, okay, that's good enough. I thought those were really perfect to go above the little birthday area. And I kind of just like picked all of the pink furniture that goes in a kitchen and just kind of like, okay, I'll just throw it here. <laughs> Didn't really use any of like the pillars or the counters or stuff like that. I'm still just like not used to using them. And this room already felt pretty small and like full of furniture so i just didn't end up using them oh my goodness do you ever record like the entire second half of your voiceover and it actually wasn't recording the whole time isn't that fun isn't that so much fun i love when that happens like i wish it would happen to me more <sighs> f in the comments for my voiceover that i lost it was so good too i made so many funny jokes and i don't even remember them anyways i hope this is gonna be a really cute birthday room for someone birthday party for someone and i think i've talked about my ladybug birthday party before in a previous video but i basically had i think i was in third grade i had like a ladybug themed birthday party at the water park that was one of my most iconic froggy crossing birthdays i had a whole cupcake cake in the shape of a ladybug so yeah be jealous and of course everything was like ladybug themed and everything you know just uh, just so cool i was i was so cool in third grade but yeah my mom even when i was like older and like a teenager she would still you know make the kitchen all pretty and like put the tablecloth and little plates and put my presents on the table for me to open later um, from everybody. So I have a lot of fond memories with, you know, kitchen birthdays. <laughs> That's like the main area that me and my family would sit to like, you know, open the presents and have the cake and everything like that at the kitchen table. So I thought this was very fitting and, you know, related to my life and I just know how it is. I know how it is. So I just made like the dream birthday kitchen. Of course, everything has to be pink, you know, if, if it was up to me. And also because that's the next color in this rainbow house design challenge, you know, but it can be two things at once. I was really excited to have an opportunity to use the little confetti machine. I wish there was like just a way to just like have confetti like rain down from the ceiling i wish there was polishing for the ceiling that you could just like have bubbles coming from the ceiling and that could be really cute for like you know like a little concert room or something like that like that and you could have confetti coming from the ceiling or you could have like streamers coming from the ceiling i feel like that would be so so cute yeah i was starting to get like a little little teensy bit burnt out on uh, kind of doing interiors you know the whole point of this video um i was starting to get, to get burnt out by like the second to last and the last room so especially with the walls which i really struggle with i just i i was not feeling it mr krabs i didn't know what to do I did not have a lot of items and I was getting lazy to go like time travel and order more and like customize them and everything so I just kind of made the best of whatever I had um yeah I'm just so sick of interiors honestly and even though I spaced them out you know like I was telling you guys earlier I didn't do this in one day I kind of did like one-ish builds a day. I think there was maybe one day where I did two of them, but even just spacing them out like that, I still like am really sick of it and like got burnt out. So anyway, here's the finished room. It still came out really cute. I still really like it. I'm just glad that the room is finished and done and that it's there. And then next we are on the final room. I am sacrificing the Brewster Shrine for a stream room. Sorry, Brewster. And also the desk, I know it's pink, not purple, but the monitors are purple, so just give, you know, give me a pass, it's fine. Once again, I was really just like kind of slugging along, trudging along. When it came to this final room, I was just like, my brain was mush. My brain was like literally like apples and cinnamon oatmeal by this time. I was like, what do I even do? What's going on here? What is an interior? Take me outside. I want to feel the grass under my feet. I want to plant a tree. But it's okay, because at least I got to make a really cute stream room. I just kind of made like whatever I thought my little dream stream room would be, you know, nice and purple and... Lots of little lights, string lights, like a little makeup counter in the back where I can do my makeup and make those cool makeup TikToks that everybody makes. <laughs> and of course, lots of like, you know, Nova lights and studio lights, just all the lights, all the RGB stuff, because that's what makes you a true gamer. Not actual skill, not hours, not even if you just like the game. 
You gotta have the lights, guys. If you don't have the lights, are you even a gamer? So yeah, I could talk about this room more, but honestly, after losing my- <laughs> after losing my voiceover, I'm just like so done. So I'm just gonna talk about what I have for dinner or what I'm gonna have for dinner. We're gonna have pizza and we went and picked it out today. We stopped by Target and we looked at all the pizzas and I found one that was kind of like a- like a thin flat crust but with a stuffed crust and i'm like yes yes i love stuffed crust so much whoever invented stuffed crust i just want to thank you personally for the amount of joy that you have brought into my life honestly you know what they should do they should do stuffed crust but put like a mozzarella stick in there it's like it's like double right so it's like okay it's like the crust imagine like the little pipe of the crust and then you've got a layer of cheese and then inside of that cheese, you know, you dig out the little hole and there's a mozzarella stick inside of that. Isn't that amazing? And then when you finish eating the pizza, you can dip the mozzarella stuffed crust, the mozzarella sticks stuffed crust into marinara sauce. And it's just like double the cheesiness. There's the mozzarella like stick bread and crunch and you dip it into the sauce and it's just like so good. Can you tell that I'm hungry? I need to stop recording when I am so hungry, but somehow it always ends up being that way. <laughs> Anyways, if any like pizza companies are out there and you want to patent my idea of a mozzarella double stuffed crust, uh, hit me up. We can we can work something out you know we just name it the froggy crossing crust that's all i ask but you know we can we can do this so anyways here in the build i'm just putting the last of the stuff like on the walls and just struggling and just being like okay here you go you know it's like when initially you start to fold all your clothes when they come out of the dryer and you're like yeah i'm gonna be productive and i'm gonna get this done but then like two months later, you were just like throwing it onto like a basket and just putting it on the floor of your room. And you just like live out of that basket. Not speaking from personal experience or anything. <laughs> uh, here's the finished room. It came out really cute. I love the vibes. I wish it was a little bit darker in the day so you could see the glowiness, but it is very, very cute. So yeah, that's pretty much the video. I struggled so much. So I would really appreciate a comment, a like, you know, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, smack it for me it would make me less in agony after doing all of these interiors because i hate interiors so yeah i'm gonna go and eat dinner thank you so much for watching don't forget about my merch the limited edition froggy hats will be going away soon so make sure to check it out and snag one if you haven't already i very much appreciate you um since we're in the sauna here and i see that water don't forget to stay hydrated drink some water go take a sip right now thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one